didn't really want to share too much about this because I didn't want it to be a cause for concern. We are starting off a week in my life video. I haven't done a week in my life in a while. It just seems like the best video to be doing right now because life has been so chaotic. I'm currently 37 weeks pregnant and I don't really know what the next few weeks look like. And so I figured I'm just gonna take you guys along for each day and we'll see how long the baby keeps cooking for. You may notice that I am in a different car right now. My car is being repaired because I got in just a little bit of a fender bender recently. And this is my rental car and you guys, I was supposed to have just a kind of normal full-size car and they only had a bright blue convertible Mustang and if you know me I am the most cautious grandma driver ever I am NOT someone who you would think would drive a Mustang and I just cannot take myself seriously right now driving this car it's so funny it's also currently raining and it sounds really peaceful in the Mustang because of the top it's Tuesday today I'm running into Target right now to grab some pillows we're doing a little bedroom refresh so I'm gonna look here. We're gonna do some baking today. I have some stuff around the house I want to get done and then I also have a midwife appointment so I'm gonna take you guys along for it all but let's see if we can run in while this rain is coming down. I'm about to shower and get ready for the day, but I wanted to share this little outfit that I got. We have this little outfit that's a little newborn outfit. So cute. I thought for Christmas, this would be so sweet on him. And it is so, so soft. And it was only $14, which seems like a good price. So I'll link this. They had it in pink too. This honestly might be a girl outfit, but I thought it could totally pass as a boy outfit too. While I'm doing my hair, I wanted to share some of the labor prep things I have been doing. I think once you hit 37 weeks, you can really start doing a lot more and even 36 weeks. First and foremost is being on my exercise ball. I've been using this thing for the last probably five weeks or so though, because it just helps with a lot of back pain that you have when you're pregnant, but not just bouncing like this, but also going like side to side, doing figure eights, forward backwards. And then I'll also stretch on this while we watch TV at night. I've also been doing about six dates a day, which I know dates have not a ton of evidence for them, but it's one of those things that what can it hurt? I believe it's supposed to soften your cervix. Raspberry leaf tea. I probably am not drinking as much as I should, but it's expensive to keep buying boxes of it. So I just have a pitcher in the fridge and I probably do two to three cups a day, but it just adds up always buying that. Also, all these things I've asked my midwife about and I've been cleared to do, I think that that's important to do because everyone's pregnancy is different. I also started expressing colostrum. If you don't know, colostrum is what you have before you have actual milk and it has just a lot of nutrients in it. And so I'm having it just to have on deck, but also in case he has trouble latching or something and needs to feed and also bring it to the hospital. I just think it's so cool that that's already there and he's not even earth side yet. Our bodies are incredible. I've also been walking a lot. I haven't really been curb walking just because I walk cash and I'm not gonna walk on the curb with cash, but we'll probably start that. My doula recommended doing the mile circuit, but that too takes an hour and a half to do in the evening. It's basically two different positions that you lay in and then 30 minutes of curb walking or just kind of diagonal movements. That's supposed to help him get in the optimal position, but yeah, it's a lot. You can honestly do so much. I think you kind of have to pick and choose how much you really are up for doing. And again, a lot of this stuff doesn't even have a ton, a ton of evidence for it. I've also been trying to sleep in more and just get as much rest as possible. But honestly, I don't sleep that great these days because I'm just kind of uncomfortable. I can't say that that one is really happening, but I think it's almost my body's way of preparing me for the lack of sleep to come to be used to it. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my hair now. Okay, I just did a little seasonal refresh of our bedding. This is something I've been wanting to do because around this time of year, I love switching to flannel sheet sets. There is just something so nice about cuddling up when it gets cooler with those flannel sheets. And this set is actually from Brooklinen, which is no surprise. We love Brooklinen and I'm so thankful to be partnering with them on today's video. They're the only sheets that we have used for years now. I can't even remember any other time that we had sheets before we got married that were from a different brand. 
And this color choice is very new for me. I think that the sage green, I believe this is their speckled sage green moss color, is so fun. It's so different. I thought it would be nice for the fall time, but also transitioning into the holidays coming up here soon. I do have a code with Brooklyn and you can use my code Michelle Reed and that will get you $20 off your order of $100 or more. And they're beautiful sheets, but they are also so comfortable. And the more that you wash them, the softer they get. That's true for their linen sheet set, which we actually do have the bottom sheet from our linen bundle on there. When you get their hardcore sheet bundle, they come with everything that you need. Your top sheet, your bottom sheet. They also have pillowcases that come with it, duvet covers. So you just buy that and you are totally covered. I've had their cotton sheet set. I have had their linen ones, their flannel ones, and they are all so great. And they get so much softer the more that you wash them, which we're about to be washing our sheets a lot more often with having a baby that you're doing diaper changes in the middle of the night. I just know there's going to be a lot more messes around here. And so they have so many different patterns and colors on the website. And I also think they make a great gift, especially if it's someone that you don't really know what to buy them. They kind of have everything. Everyone appreciates a nice quality sheet set. Again, I'll have Brooklyn and link down below. We also love their towels. They also make great gifts and you can use my code Michelle Reed to get $20 off your order of $100 or more. Here is the fit for today. I'm wearing this little knit tank that is actually from my sister, Jamie. We raided her closet. She was giving away a bunch of stuff and I snagged this. I think it's cute. It is a little bit cropped right now, but I know it's going to fit better <laughs> soon. And then these pants are actually from Lulu's, but I don't think they sell them anymore. So I'll try to link something similar, but they're also super comfy right now because they have such a stretchy waistband, which is definitely essential right now. And then I just paired them with my Ugg slippers, which I'll probably have to change out of because it has been raining so much today. But for now, really like these. I have been craving pumpkin muffins with a crumble on top. So that is what we're going to make. I'll link the recipe down below. I've never tried this. I do think I'm going to add chocolate chips because I add chocolate chips to pretty much everything. But I also did save some of my sourdough discard, which it calls for in the recipe too. So if you're trying to get rid of your discard, I honestly don't bake with mine too often, but I figured I should since I have it. So we're going to try it. When I go to reach it just leaves my mind Waking with a note How could a poem hold the way I see your a taste test these look incredible oh my goodness mm. so moist and delicious i put the perfect amount of chocolate chips in oh my goodness that is so good definitely try this recipe mm -mm 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 -mm. incredible just got here to my appointment it's just me today i actually have a sonogram tomorrow and so aiden's gonna come with me to that one but for now i'm going solo so let's do this appointment went well I will probably share tomorrow because I have another appointment and I just don't want to share twice on the vlog I'm gonna go ahead and head home probably gonna hit some rush hour traffic so I'm ready to have just a cozy evening Aiden just got home too so excited to see him just made us some salmon bowls for dinner this is like my favorite just easy quick meal for dinner we just have some brown rice salmon broccoli and then I use this glaze I picked this up from Trader Joe's just adds like a nice flavor. I do my salmon in the air fryer, super simple and tasty. It's the next day. I need to give you guys an update because I have just been in an anxious spiral the last honestly couple of weeks and I didn't really want to share too much about this because I didn't want it to be a cause for concern and it's not a cause for concern we figured out today thankfully if I've seemed a little bit off lately that is why essentially at my 36 week appointment which was last week they were a little bit concerned that I was measuring behind just by measuring me measuring my bump which isn't always the most accurate thing and so you don't really know exactly how to feel and so I actually was scheduled for a sonogram that we went to today just to do a 
growth scan to make sure everything was okay. And even at my appointment yesterday, they reassured me that everything was fine, got in my head. And I think that's a whole thing about pregnancy. While everything has been so healthy and smooth, the last month or so, I have definitely been in my head just making sure that he is okay and wanting to do everything that I can. Hardly slept last night, which is so bad. I just have not been in the best headspace, but today we had our sonogram and everything is looking so, so good. He is in a great position for labor and delivery. He is looking very healthy. Of course, the weight is just estimated. And these growth scans, they can only tell you so much, but fluid levels, everything looks great. And he seems really well engaged right now, so all great things and I feel like I can just breathe again and so I'm really really thankful that I had that done today and so thankful that everything just went so smoothly so I feel like I can breathe I feel like I can vlog normally again and just continue on with normal life over the next couple of weeks or whenever he comes but yeah I just wanted to say that because I have been MIA today I've just been doing work on my laptop trying not to spiral and also taking a nap because I hardly slept last night. That's where I've been. Aiden and I are having a chill night. I'm not going to cook tonight. I've cooked the past couple of nights, so we're going to pick up food and just hang out. I think I'm going to make my birth playlist because that's something that I haven't done just to have for the hospital. Curate some songs there, but we're continuing on the vlog normally. <laughs> I just got here to an appointment. I'm getting my eyebrows done. I'm gonna get them waxed and tinted. And I haven't been here for so long, but if you've been here for the past bit, I used to go to the Bush Waxing Boutique and they are so, so great. And recently I just have not had great experiences with trying to get my brows done. And this is quite a drive for me now in Dallas, but decided to make an appointment today. I'm trying to do as many of my appointments as possible before baby comes, which is why I got my hair done recently. I got a gel pedicure done recently. I get a pedicure probably twice a year. I find when I get gel pedicures, they last a while. And then what else did I do? I actually think that's it and then getting my brows done so i'm excited i'm excited to go here i haven't been here in such a long time and it is so cute over here in this area in fort worth so i think i might grab lunch after try to make a little afternoon out of it i want to grab some stuff to make dinner tonight too so we'll do that maybe pop into some shops i'm kind of trying to savor these last afternoons of it just being me and me bopping around doing whatever not having as many responsibilities although i do feel very pregnant these days so probably not down to do too too much before I get tired, but let's go ahead and get these brows done. Just got out, the brows are done. They're looking so good. I saw Corinne at the bush and she did such a great job. I would definitely recommend if you guys are in the Dallas Fort Worth area. But now I'm gonna go ahead and find some place to grab some lunch. I'm kind of in the mood for something a little bit healthier, maybe a salad bowl, something like sweet green. So I'm gonna see what's around and then we'll grab some lunch. also stopped and grabbed some things for dinner tonight. I usually bring my own bags, but I forgot this time. I saw a recipe from Half Baked Harvest. It's like a buffalo chicken. It's kind of like hamburger helper, but it's a buffalo chicken version with broccoli and pasta. And that sounded good. So I grabbed stuff to make that. But for the rest of the day, it's about four o'clock right now. So Aiden's about to get home. I'm probably just gonna chill out. I'm definitely a little overstimulated. You guys, driving this bright blue Mustang, I have never drawn so much attention in my life. Anytime I would park somewhere or I got gas, people just 
like so many comments and they're just being nice. It's not anything crazy. I do feel like I've gotten some looks driving this car. Everyone has something to say about my Mustang rental right now. Run out of energy a lot easier these days. And so I'm gonna chill out and do some work on my laptop on the couch. I also need to take some photos this evening. So I think I'm gonna have Aiden help me take those, probably go for a nice long walk. I really haven't been curb walking that much and I think that's something that I should probably be doing. So we're gonna do that, make dinner, have another chill evening. Came home to a couple of packages. This is one that I am so excited about because I have been seeing this Amazon set from so many people that I follow over on Instagram. And it just looks so cute, especially for postpartum. I thought that this would be nice. Large, definitely got a medium. Oh, and it's short sleeve. For some reason, the tag says large. I definitely ordered a medium, but I got it in this army green. The black, I think, is really, really pretty, but it was all sold out, so I decided that this color would be nice. Ooh, yeah, these look like they might be a little bit too big. But then the pants look like this on the bottom, so we might try this on and see how it's fitting, but it is really, really nice quality, but I have a feeling that these are gonna be a little bit too big on me, which would be totally fine, but have that and then i also have some element electrolytes these are my favorite electrolytes i order these myself on amazon but they actually sent me some which was super nice these are actually the ones that i packed in my hospital bag too that i'm going to bring to the hospital and i plan to use during labor too my favorites are definitely the raspberry salt and then i also really really like the watermelon salt those are my two favorites all of them are really good but those flavors are the best to me i really like them i know a lot of people say that they can really Really taste the salt in them but personally i really like the taste and i like that they don't have a ton of added sugar it really is just the high sodium amount that is part of just the electrolyte so really like these mm -hmm. Getting a little crazy because I just took cash for a walk, but I'm about to start dinner. Again, I'll have this recipe down below. It's technically a buffalo chicken helper from Half Baked Harvest. And I haven't done a Tegan recipe in a while, so I'm really excited. This one looks very hearty, comforting, a good fall meal. So let's try it. actually Monday morning. It's a few days later. We're just going to carry on the vlog into today. I woke up this morning and it is 37 degrees outside, which is just such a Texas thing to totally skip over fall, but it is chilly. So I'll share a little outfit of the day. For today, my sister Lindsay is coming over with her kids. We're going to hang out, grab lunch, and then I have some work that I need to get done. I'll have a nice productive day for the rest of the day. Here's the outfit. My dress is from Amazon. You guys, I cannot get over just how big the bump has gotten, especially anytime I wear stuff like this. It is just crazy to me. And then my shrug is part of a set from Lulu's. I think it is sold out right now, but I do think they plan to restock it. So I'll still link it down below. And then these earrings that I'm wearing are from Cezanne. I really really like the tortoiseshell on them. Tonight I'm making a crock pot meal. I need to see when I actually need to start that. It probably won't be till around one o'clock, but it's another buffalo chicken recipe, which I've been really, really enjoying for some reason. Anything spicy throughout pregnancy, I've just really enjoyed, even though buffalo chicken isn't that, that spicy. We're gonna try that. It seems like a cozy meal for a cooler day too.
kids just left. It was nice to get to spend time with them and Lindsay. And it honestly always makes me really happy because Cash gets so much exercise when kids come over because they just chase him around. And he was also loving getting all of the attention while they were here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my stuff in the crock pot now for this meal and then do a couple of work things that I need to get done on my laptop. I'll have this recipe linked down below. It seems pretty simple though, so. started the crock pot and now I'm actually going to make some bone broth hot chocolate. I've been making this lately. It is so good. It's a little bit better for you. I know bone broth has a lot of just health benefits in it and I like to make it with dark chocolate. So I'll leave the recipe that I'm following down below. It's super simple but I'm kind of in the mood for something sweet and so this sounds like it's going to be the move this afternoon. We are gonna go for a walk. It is 45 degrees outside, so it's chilly. You need to throw on something a little bit warmer. the dinner's done cooking my chicken did kind of fall apart in the crock pot but it tastes really good and it was really really simple so i'm excited to eat this we're just gonna have it over some brown rice headed off to bed so i just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will catch you guys in my next one bye friends